Ben Gumpert coming up from the Sac Republic in just moments. Go back to Jimmy Butler as well. Speaking of the Republic, don't forget the Sac Republic hour each and every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Right here on Sports 1140 KHDK. Hosted by me. Me. That's right. More of me. 15 hours during the week and one on the weekend. Ah. Also, uh, this weekend, we will have we will have the call of the Republic match. I will be out of town. That's right. I'll be gone. Who's on the call? Oh, Matt George. Matty George on the call. Scott Marsh will be uh, busy doing uh, UC Davis stuff, which you can hear right here on KHDK. A little football action there. So that'll be very interesting. Tune in to Matt George. Listen to the Republic. See uh season finale, regular season finale against the hated Las Vegas Lights. That's at 7.30 on Saturday. Tickets available, sacrepublicfc.com. And then they will begin the playoffs the following Saturday. And uh, it'll be uh, Matt George and myself right here on Sports 1140. From the 916, in my honest opinion, the lowdown would absolutely handle you two in a game on two on two. Kyle would be all alone because Dave wouldn't be able to breathe. Eh, maybe. So I'm taller, I'm taller and bigger than all three of those guys. I did play basketball professionally in the NBA. So cardio, maybe. But yeah, I do like a Rocky and Rocky Four thing. I go to Russia for a couple months, run around. I'd run around, I'd outrun the KGB, I'd get to the top of the mountain, and I'd scream out, d I'd tear his picture off the mirror in his, in his uh, cocoa butter, shiny skin, and the, the sleeveless shirt he's wearing. <laughs> That's a great intro for our next guest. <laughs> That's out of context, by the way, everyone. Uh, joining, Rice, uh, joining us right now, I, I will never get his title correct. He tells me all the time, and I forget it. I, I think he's the president of soccer, personally, everywhere, uh, but also a dear friend. And uh, here's a title I enjoy, uh, graduate of Rio Americano High School, and then also, uh, what was it, Stanford State or some community college, the one, the only, Benjamin Gumpert. Hello, Ben. Uh, hello, guys. Always always good to be with you. Is it, though? President of, so- president of all soccer. I, I love that. The whole thing. I don't know. Well, just the just the entire sport. Everything. Uh, every every soccer person calls you Mr. President. Right. That's fine with something that. to shoot for. Something to shoot for. Before we get to um, everything coming up with the team, uh, the playoffs, the season finale tomorrow, right here on KHDK. Uh, or excuse me, Saturday on KHDK. Gosh, I'm thinking it's Friday. I want to talk a little bit uh, about yesterday uh, because something happened yesterday that some people know about. But I don't think enough people know about. And and Ben, you were obviously very involved, and in that you know we, we we try not to make too many ties together. But uh, when we were fighting for the Kings, one one of the things was pro sports does wonders for a community. It's not it's bigger than basketball. It's bigger than soccer ball. You know, it, it, there are things in the community that just flat wouldn't happen or happen to that level if it wasn't for pro sports. And the Republic and their their their, their five years of glory have shown that their commitment to the community and the quiet things that they do, a lot of which people don't even know about uh, because you're not out there taking bows all the time, uh, makes a true difference. And yesterday, you guys had a very special press conference, and I was hoping you could share with the audience what that was all about. Yeah, you bet. Big, big signing for us. Uh, So we we signed a new player, 15-year-old Matthew Harding. been watching Matthew for a while, and actually he was introduced to us by uh, UC Davis Health, our, our, our hospital partner and health partner, as well as Make-A-Wish. Um, and, you know, un- unfortunately for Matthew, he's had to deal with way more than anyone should have to deal with, uh, especially a, a 15-year-old. Um, but he's, he's certainly fought through a lot and gone through chemo and has a good prognosis uh, going forward on, um, on his cancer treatment. And 
you know, there's one wish, uh, hearing from his family, there's only one thing he thinks about day and night, uh, and that's soccer. Uh, his mom talked about, uh, how the house is all messed up because of how many times he's, he's kicked the ball around the living room. Um, and so we were excited to, to sign him, give him a contract to be part of the Republic. He's actually, as, as we speak right now, he's probably getting his final uh, breakfast movie going and heading out to training in about 20 minutes. Uh, and hopefully he's ready because Coach Simon Elliott is going to, going to run him through all the drills and he's going to meet all the guys and uh you know assuming all goes well he's going to suit up for us on on saturday um and we hope he, he can fight and be in the starting lineup and then we'll we'll see what happens so it, he's training today with the club and if everything goes right he's making his first team debut on saturday and ben let me tell you you know this team's in good form right now but i think after reading the statements, after seeing part of that press conference, I think Matthew can come in and kick some of these guys in the tail. That's what I think. I, I think when you, you make an addition like this, that's something that can reverberate around the entire ball club. Yeah, some some people might call us crazy for, for making a move three days before the end of the regular season. But the way we think about it, we can use any any infusion of, of spirit. Certainly Matthew has it. Uh, you know, He's going to mix, mix up the locker room. You know, We don't want anyone too comfortable with their starting position. Right. So. You bring the bring the new guy in. Everyone fights a little harder. Uh, as Coach Simon says, is like, hey, you know, Matthew's coming out. He's like, hey, he's got to earn his earn his spot. So he's uh, so we'll see how he does today. His whole family's coming out. Um, his whole family and friends will be there on on Saturday, and we got a, a few special things planned. But as you said, and I'm uh, and you know me, I'm I'm maybe too much of a sap. Um, but I, I love sports. I I eat and drink sports day and day, you know, day in day out. Uh, but but one thing that I absolutely love about it is it's you know such a powerful platform for things exactly like this. This is exactly what it should be used for. This is why uh, it exists. This is why we have you know fans. Um, this is why we have sports teams that represent a city and a community, uh, and we take that very seriously at the Republic. And uh, you know we're just we're just thrilled and, and feel fortunate that we can be a part of it and, and make a difference for Matthew, his family, and hopefully inspire a lot of people right and, and that's really through matthew that you can inspire a lot of people in this community and, and maybe even uh across the nation about what he's doing and, and his fight uh, and how he's approached it so uh we're we're fortunate to be a part of it ben gumpert of the sac republic joining us what a great form to go into the playoffs with the sac republic have not lost in a while. They are 4-0-1 in their last five. And sitting at 62 points right now, going into the game this Saturday, just one point behind Phoenix Rising. And everybody's got pretty much equal games at this point at 33. There is an outside shot. I mean, Phoenix plays Portland. Portland's the sixth seed right now. Uh, that's a home game for Phoenix Rising, but should they lose and the Republic do what they should do and take care of business at Papa Murphy's Park? I know it's not the odds on favor, but there's an outside shot at the two seed. And considering some of the ups and downs this year, and uh, especially some of those downs we saw at home, it seems like Simon Elliott and Todd Donovan and those players have done a good job at getting them to peak at the right time. That's exactly right, and they've done a phenomenal job. Remember, this is this is a brand-new coach that came in just a couple of weeks before the season, a uh, brand-new GM. Uh, who really put together a stellar squad and just a great group of guys that have continued to fight. And certainly there's been some ups and downs throughout the season as there are, always is, um, but they've always uh, maintained the right attitude. They've certainly put in the work. Um, and as you said, we've locked up the three seed in our conference. We've locked up the fifth seed overall in a 33 team league. Um, and, you know, who knows? We're certainly going to go into Saturday expecting uh, to continue to climb, and if we can, uh, that's fantastic. If we if we stay in the third seed, we we have a, a home playoff match uh, guaranteed in the first round uh, the following Saturday, and we know that the crowd is going to come out and give us every advantage, and and we're excited to you know take it take it one match at a time. But you better believe that our sights are set on on winning a championship because that's where we went into the season, um, you know, with with that goal um, and knowing that it was possible, and, and we're not going to. We're certainly not going to back down from that. Ben Gumpert with us. And to that point, obviously, we'll we'll have that game 
that match this weekend, uh, of course, we'll be covering and, and have the playoff match the following weekend right here on KHK. And then all next week, you'll be hearing from Republic players, uh, management team reps. Uh, we'll be giving away tickets uh, to that match uh, as well. So as, as we look back a little bit, even though we have one match left this year on this season, this is a big deal for you guys. As you said, new GM, new coach, a lot of new players, uh, five years of glory, the, uh, the, the, the jerseys, which I absolutely love, the, uh, the black and white jerseys. Um, when you look back on the five years of glory campaign, which I know you created and, and really the driving point behind that was those fans, uh, it seems like it was a pretty resounding success. Yeah. I mean, we, we think so really only because of, of exactly your point, right? The, the fans, it's, it's unbelievable. When we started going into the season, you know, we still in some ways feel ourselves as a, as a new club, we're still building tradition, um, we're still, you know, gaining new fans every day. At the same time, a lot has happened, and we wanted to celebrate that. And, and looking back over the past five years, and especially on that that first season in 2014, where where nobody expected what was going to happen. Um, nobody expected that that first game for 21,000 people to show up and uh, create traffic jams all through Sacramento, and and to you know march a few thousand strong, and to have this Tower Bridge Battalion, and like you name it. It was just such an unbelievable eye-opening experience for so many in this community uh and the fact is it really hasn't stopped since since that game and there's been great from the championship to amazing goals to uh some huge wins against mls teams a lot has happened over these five years almost all has been centered around this incredible fandom uh and actually as as part of this upcoming saturday we're we're honoring you know one we've honored different moments throughout our history and we felt it couldn't be more appropriate than for our last game of this season, for our last regular season game, to honor that, that first game um, that we had in 2014 at Hughes Stadium. Uh, and so we're going to be doing some look backs, found, found some great photos in the archives um, that we'll be honoring this Saturday. And it's going to be it's going to be a packed house. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for sure. Well, and, and you hear the feedback from the fans. And, and you guys are very active in – talking to the fans and, and and not everything goes perfect ever with any organization one thing i've noticed uh during your reign ben uh in charge along with with kevin nagel and uh and the ownership group is you guys uh aren't afraid to tackle some of those issues and that's important to a guy like me who obviously defends fans fans are important the, the community is important that's really what powers any franchise but you have some that will, you know, send the email here or uh, let me forward this along and, hey, we're working on it. And I want you to get in a little bit to this, but you guys have had multiple interactions this year, face-to-face, beyond Twitter, beyond email, which happens, but actual face-to-face meetings and interactions with fans to hear any potential issues or grievances they might have and get immediately on it. I love that about you guys. Yeah, I mean, listen, that <laughs> that has to be the expectation. Uh, and... Uh, you know it, right? You, you've sort of sung, carried that flag for so many in Sacramento. It's listen. I mean, it's not lip service. If if the fans aren't there, if the fans aren't sort of helping to direct the ship here, then what what is this all for anyway? Right? We just talked about how this club started out of nowhere. Like all of that was because you know twenty thousand plus uh, came on, you know, in that first match and and and, and during Sac Soccer Day even before that. Um, so this doesn't exist without them. And so they have, they have, their, they have opinions and they have differing opinions and they have strong opinions, uh, as they well should. Uh, and we have to listen to them because otherwise we're, we're, we're not, you know, we're not, uh, getting to the core as, as we should. So, yeah, I mean, there's, there's certainly a lot of, uh, chat on, on the Twitter and, and the Facebook as they say. And, uh, but also we've, we've had a number of, of, of focus groups. We've had fans stop by the office and just share their opinion. One thing, uh, you know, this culture of, of Sac Republic has created is a, is a very accessible um, sort of ecosystem. And, and I love that. I love that about, about the Republic. I love that about the Republic fan base. And that's accessible from people stopping by the office to people coming up to me, to people coming up to Kevin Nagel all the time, to people that, you know, having kids on our field after every single game, just to be able to dribble a soccer ball around and experience a, a professional field. Accessible means all of those things. Um, and it has to happen. And, and yeah, we've heard a lot. We've tried to make a number of improvements, uh, throughout, throughout the year, uh, more to come next year, especially around the, the stadium experience at Papa Murphy's and, and getting, uh, continuing to build on that, continuing to build on accessibility. 
Um, and it's just an exciting time to be able to, to build some of these traditions, right? There's so many sports teams. You have the Boston Red Sox, right, 100 years old uh, or more and, and other organizations like that. We have the benefit of being able to form these traditions, right? The, the generation of Sacramento right now are, are, is going to form these traditions for Sac Republic and, and ones that we think, you know, hey, in a, in a hundred years, you know, maybe people can look back on it's like, wow, like these these traditions have been on for for that long, and and that's going to come from the fans. So we need to make that happen, and and that's what we're committed to. I think you 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 get on a really good point is when you look at uh, the Yankees or the Bears or uh, the, the giants, uh, or, or the Kings even, um, there are generations of, of tradition embedded. You know, I go back to Will Clark and Robbie Thompson, uh, with the giants. My dad tells me stories of watching Mickey Mantle, uh, when he grew up in New York. So I imagine it's kind of a, a, uh, I know it's a task that you welcome, but I also imagine that it's a, it's a pretty big weight on the shoulders when all of you guys realize you and, and Kevin and, and Joe and Allison and, and, and the brain trust there along with the players and coaches, you're establishing tradition for the first time. This is the first generation of Republic fans and someday knock on wood, we hope, you know, 20, 30, 40 years down the line, uh, old men are going to be talking to their grandkids uh, uh, about the first time uh, their dads, got to dribble around on the soccer field or uh, got to sit with the uh, with, with the Tower Bridge Battalion or or watch the Miracle at Bonnie. That is kind of a, a strange thing to think about. Yeah, and, but it's incredible, right? Yeah. I mean, yes, weight on our shoulders. I don't I don't even know if I would characterize it that it, this is this is an incredible opportunity for all of us. And I know, you know, Kevin, you know, talking to Kevin so much, it's even even him investing in this team and and making sure that it, it is everything that it can be was about hey like we this isn't just for today it's not for tomorrow like this is for the next generation uh, and beyond and if we have the opportunity to, to start something let's let's grab it by the horns and do everything we can to make it happen um, and those traditions uh, you know I'd love you know when our fans Tower Bridge Battalion and others wave during the during the national anthem certainly some of those some of those examples, like you said, of Miracle at Bonnie, I would, I, you know, I, I dream at, at night about exactly what you said of, of people passing those stories on generation to generation to look back in 30 or 50 years. Like it would be incredible. It'd be incredible, but that's, that's the opportunity before us. Ben Gumpert with us, Saf Republic. Want to remind you, they've got their game Saturday night, the uh, season regular season finale against the hated, the hated rivals, Las Vegas Lights at 7.30 at Papa Murphy's Park. We'll have that right here on Sports 1140 KHDK. Uh, Matt George on the call. Also, we will be out there the following weekend for playoff game number one. I say number one of many, I hope. Uh, that will also be here on KHDK. We'll have all that info, ticket giveaways, players, coaches, guests on next week as well. Ben, uh, as we wind down here, uh, obviously, I can't bring you on without asking. Uh, the MLS is still the the, uh, the 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 looms large, and and I have the the pleasure or honor or whatever you want to call it of of being able to know and see a little bit of behind the scenes and the work that you guys are doing, you Kevin and the rest of the crew and uh, everything you've been trying to do. Uh, at the same time, you see news pop up every once in a while, and sometimes you see nothing at all. So I know there's a lot of Republic fans listening right now. I'll just ask you the same thing I always ask you, just a general update on the uh, the quest for MLS. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's certainly a question that we come up uh, all the time, as, as it should. It, we're continuing to, to push forward um, and, and progressing nicely, as, as we've talked about for the past several months, uh, and I know it's been longer than everyone wants, like the path to major league soccer, uh, is through a, a new investor. Uh, and that is what we are focused on. That is what Kevin has certainly been focused on day in, day out. That is what mayor Steinberg, um, that's what the city council, that's what the corporate community here has been incredibly supportive, uh, in Sacramento is focused on. Uh, and that hasn't changed. In fact, it's only, it's only intensified. It's only redoubled. Uh, we are very far along, um, with, with a couple of groups, uh, and certainly one that's, that's emerged as, as, as very far along. And we are going to do everything we can to, to get it done and get it done as soon as possible. That, that has never changed. That will never change, uh, because it's the right thing for Sacramento. It's the right thing for this community. I, I would also add, you know, in that time, I know, 
I know it's frustrating to, to not have every detail of every update. And I think everyone, you know, when I, when I'm one-on-one -on -one with fans to talk about the private nature of some of these, you know, specific investors that of course, um, is, is not our position to reveal, um, or not our opportunity to reveal. Um, but rest assured that, that those discussions are, are happening. I feel I can speak personally. I feel as confident as ever uh, about where we stand, about where Sacramento stands. Um, and you know, there's, there's cities like St. Louis that came up this week, uh, Phoenix, Detroit, Charlotte, others have been, you know, in various stories over the last couple months. I still contend that nobody holds a candle to Sacramento. Nobody holds a candle to the complete package that we have here. Um, from an investor group, from a local investor group led by Kevin Nagel, um, that of course will be bolstered by this new investor from a stadium plan that is further along than Cincinnati and Nashville and Miami and others that have already been awarded MLS teams. Uh, and then of course it's the fan base, right? Year in, year out now for five years strong, nobody can hold a candle to, to what we've done. Uh, and I love where we stand. I, I frankly love where we stand. I hear a little dog barking in the background. Or was that a different noise? And that was that was just I I play that just to fire me up sometimes on those questions. <laughs> so it's, it's a key it's a keyboard I have. Yeah, it's, it's, not, just, it's not just the it's not just the radio guys that have their little soundboard. <laughs> I got one too. Rio Americano's own Ben Gumpert, uh, who uh, is is highly accessible along with the rest of the Republic staff, the office, which he mentioned, and it's very true. You just go downtown to the Republic offices, you walk in, they have all this awesome merchandise like the uh, the jacket that I'm wearing right now. And and then right behind that, there's, there's all the brain trust right there about as accessible as you're going to get. You're not going to find that at too many other uh, professional franchises. And obviously, you can uh, go up and talk to everybody out of the games like the one this Saturday versus versus Las Vegas. Tickets still available right now at SacRepublicFC.com. Las Vegas Lights, Papa Murphy's Park, Friday, uh, Saturday at 7.30, and we will have that coverage for you right here on Sports 1140 KHTK. Ben, I know you guys are working hard. You're working uh, on two fronts. You've got the regular season and now the playoffs, and that's the now, and you also have MLS and everything you guys have been just, just killing yourselves on uh, behind the scenes, and I look forward to the day when the, the awesomeness that is the Republic that we already have gets taken to that next level and uh, just continues to build on the city that you and I uh, are, are both natives of. So, buddy, I always appreciate your time. I know you're busy. No, I appreciate you guys. It's Vamos Republic. Let's do it. All right, brother. We'll see you on Saturday. Take care. All right. Bye. That, that's Ben Gumpert, and we are uh, way late for a break. If uh, you missed uh, some of that, we'll uh, we'll pop that into the uh, Sac Republic Hour coming up this Saturday uh, at 9 a.m. And, yes, I agree, and I see many of the texts that you guys are sending in at 44 11 40. Yeah, Ben's a good dude. Ben's a good dude and uh, one of those guys. It's one of those brains you want around the city of Sacramento. And, and on top of being smart, he's a good guy and went to a great high school. That's right, Rio Americano. We'll take a break. When we come back, uh, I, I can't decide if I want to fight with Kyle about J.J. Watt and his brother or if I want to agree with Kyle on Jimmy Butler. We'll see if we can get to both next, followed by what's on tap. It's an action-packed last half hour of the drive right here on Sports 1140 KHDK. Sports 1140 KHDK. We do sports. The three is partially blocked at Niana on it with Giles leaking out. Giles breaks the grab, puts it on the glass and scores. Nice lead pass. Kings take their first lead of the ball game. Sports 1140 KHDK. Your home of the Kings. Carmichael Dave here for my good friends over at Hoblet Ram. My 2019 Ram Laramie 1500 Hemi is right outside. I still have some lawn chairs in the back of my 2019 Laramie. Why? Because I'm rolling around to soccer practice and hang out. I can haul everything, including kids, soccer balls, chairs, goal posts, everything. This weekend, we're taking the kids on a little educational camping trip to Yosemite. Well, guess what? Whole thing's going to be packed in the back because that's how we camp. Tents and blankets and 65-inch television, Nintendo, maybe a PlayStation, the stove or fridge. But on the inside, it's just going to be uh, myself, my wife, and the kids. There'll be a, a, a three-prong plug there so they can plug in their tablets. So they shut up during the trip. My wife and I will be listening to music in the front on the Sirius XM stereo system. That sounds so great. Or maybe I'll hook it up via Bluetooth to my phone. Either way, either way, during Ram Power Days... You can take up to 12 grand off MSRP 
on your select 2019 Ram 1500 truck or 19000 off MSRP on select 2018 Ram 1500 trucks. No hassle, no pressure ever from Hoblet. That's why they're the J.D. Powers Customer First Award for Excellence winner. Just seven minutes from the airport right there in Woodland. Go to hobbitdodge.com. Find out that deal for you, over 1100 in stock. And hey, all the savings I told you about for an extra $1,000 off. Just get up there and mention your good buddy. Call Michael Dave. Send ya. This is Boomer Science with the CBS Sports Minute. Earlier, I gave Oakland's Derek Carr a B-minus, which turns out to be the highest mark among a handful of struggling veteran quarterbacks. After all, he does have to deal with John Gruden. After Case Keenum piloted Minnesota to the NFC Championship game, the fact that the bikes didn't want him back tells us all we need to know. Certainly, he's gritty, aggressive, and I love how he plays the game, but he's stuck on a mediocre team in Denver. I give him a C. Also, coming off of a championship game appearance is Blake Bortles. The Jags signal caller remains woefully inconsistent and hard to trust in big spots, earning him a C- minus at the moment meantime a big d is my grade for dak prescott the cowboys haven't asked him to do all that much but his accuracy has been a big problem with frustrated receivers as the result finally i give tennessee's marcus mariota an incomplete he's been playing hurt folks and his teammates appreciate his selfless sacrifice and that's half the battle in this quarterback derby i'm boomer Esiason. we tooth had it removed when i was a kid so what do i crave instead of chocolate a big red box from Granger. Granger satisfies my craving for great customer service with 24 7 support, effortless ordering, and same day pickup or next day delivery options. No busy signals, no cavities. I love Granger. You know why? Because when it comes to reliable product and technical support, Granger's got your back. Call or click Granger.com to see for yourself. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Napa know-how. This month, a two-pack of Napa Night Vision headlamps is up to $10 off because with fall comes longer nights and poor overall visibility. Luckily, our headlamps have superior illumination, which helps reduce the chance of an accident. See better, drive safer with up to $10 off a two-pack of Napa Night Vision headlamps. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Offer ends 10 31 18. Have you heard the expression that knowledge is power? It's definitely true in the criminal justice system. I'm attorney Darren Kavanoke with your 1-800-NO-CUFFS Legal Minute. Here's three quick tips to help protect your legal rights. First, the right to remain silent only helps if you exercise it, so please shut up. Next, if police want to search you or your stuff, consider just saying no. You don't have to consent. And if you're stopped for suspicion of DUI, think about politely declining those roadside gymnastics like standing on one leg. Did you know those tests are optional? The police won't tell you, but you don't have to do them. The more you say, the more you do, the better the chance you're leaving in handcuffs. Repeat after me. I'd love to, officer, but my lawyer would kill me. Please call 1-800-NO cuffs. The real pro tip is to put 1-800-NO-CUFFS on speed dial now, because no one looks good in handcuffs, you know, unless you're into that sort of thing. 1-800-NO-CUFFS. Listen to Fifty Shades of Money every Saturday at 8 a.m. Dan Ahmad and Jim Files are the area's premier retirement planning experts and just co-authored a new book with Larry King called The Big Question. Visit them at peakfin.com. That's P-E-A-K-F-I-N.com. The CBS Sports Minute is brought to you by Elk Grove Ford. I'm Rachel Wood, co-owner at Elk Grove Ford with reason number nine, people hate car dealers. The salesman tells you to fill out a credit app before you've even picked a car. Please come see me and my team for a pressure-free experience at Elk Grove Ford today. Elk Grove sells Ford sells. Now your sports update. Sports update. Powered by Mercury Insurance. This is Kyle Madsen with your top stories on Sports 1140. Hey, the Kings play tonight. They face the Utah Jazz at the Golden 1 Center. The first game of a back-to-back to finish up their preseason slate. We'll have tonight's game for you right here on Sports 1140. Listen to the G-Man with tip-off set for 7 o'clock. Week 6 of the NFL season also gets going tonight. It's an NFC East showdown on Thursday Night Football between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. That's at MetLife Stadium. Those are your top stories. And now it's back to the drive with Carmichael Dave on Sports 1140. KSGK. Here we go. The drive continues now. Our thanks to Ben Gumpert, Sack Republic. 
Check them out against Las Vegas at Papa Murphy's Park this Saturday, 7.30. Tickets available at SacRepublicFC.com. And you can hear Ben. We will repeat that on the Sac Republic Hour this Saturday. Kyle, we have two segments left. We got to get to what's on tap in the next segment. That won't take too long. So, I don't know. We need a wheel or a coin or something. Because I, I don't... I, I, really stuck what have we what have we covered today we we covered our 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 starting lineup of nba players that are older than we think they are yeah Kyrie irving who is 26 tyreek evans is 29 Kawhi leonard is 27 kevin love just turned 30 last month anthony davis is 25 or 26 hey how old is thaddeus young I have no. I couldn't pick Thaddeus Young out of a lineup if he was wearing a name tag that said Thaddeus Young. Okay, that's fine. He's thirty. I would have guessed 30. like thirty-five. Paul George is twenty-eight. Stephen Adams is twenty-five. That one's actually really good. Ooh, I know our starting uh, power forward. Who's that? Derek Favors. Derek Favors. See, here's the problem, because I believe Derek Favors came out. Didn't he come out in the Cousins draft, which was 2010? I'm going to say he is, he does seem like he's 30, but what is he, 26? 27. Yeah. Yeah. DeMarcus is another one. I know. He's 27? Yeah, 28? He's, he is, right, but it's like DeMarcus. He's already, you know, if you ever, hey, if you, you ever have an opportunity, you're you're a warrior guy. If you're, you're out there covering the team, and uh, – you're talking to him after the game, maybe ask him a couple questions in the locker room, get your pass on. I will give you twenty dollars cash. Kay. Twenty. Okay. If you ask him, Demarcus says hey, it's Kyle Madsen uh, with uh, with S- with. Sports I, I would say no. I would say with Bonneville Radio, so he doesn't know uh-huh. you're from Sacramento. Say hey, listen. I know you've had a lot of you've had a lot of struggles in your career. You've overcome a lot. How are you? How are you doing on that hairline? How, it's, is that is that the biggest fight you've had so far? The, the hairline. <laughs> that would be perfect because I would be bald. <laughs> I'd be like, be like, bro, hey, just go you, for you it. You just gotta let it go. Just do it. Let it fly. You know that's why he wears a headband, right? I I figure that's why probably seventy five percent of NBA. That's why I start wearing the hair, headband. See with that headband off, that thing's mean chin back. That's why I wear a headband as well. Mean chin back. <laughs> Yeah, Derek Favors twenty seven. Rudy Gobert's twenty six. Mm-hmm. I was I swear Derek Favors been in the league for twenty years. Rudy Gobert. Oh. With the it's Gobert. Gobert. Don't say ah, uh, just sorry. Running with running football. football is Gobert. Yeah. You know who else is a really good one? <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good one, but it's almost too sad to even talk about. So did you know that? Seven days ago, Derrick Rose turned thirty. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. he. He for me is in the older than I thought camp. Yeah, much. Oh, he's older than you thought he was. Yeah, you thought he was in, still in his twenties. Yeah. Wow. I just can't believe Derrick Rose is freaking thirty. I feel like Derrick Rose is forty. <laughs> the poor guy's knees are sixty. God. Will Derrick Rose go down? At, it sucks because he got injured so much, but but he's going to be on a list of worst NBA MVPs ever when you look at total career. He actually might be. And again, we want to stand in front of Derrick because you can't do anything about injuries. And it's 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 just short of tragic that he's gone. we got robbed of a full Derrick Rose career because of those injuries. But he might be... The worst MVP ever, when it comes to yeah. what his career was. Yeah, I think I think I I think I can rock with that. Because I'm pretty sure almost every MVP either is or will be in the Hall of Fame. In fact, I'm looking. Would you like a quick list of players who have been named MVP since the award was given out in 1955 that are not in the Hall of Fame? You ready? Is it going to be a cricket sound? Tim Duncan, not in the Hall get of Fame. There. He'll get there. Kevin Garnett, LeBron not in the James. Hall of Fame. LeBron, Kobe, Dirk, Steph, Westbrook, Harden. So all guys who will get there. And Derek Rose. I think if you cut it off right now, 
this is actually pretty interesting when you think about it. Since 1955, when they started giving this award out, so that's what, 50, 50, that's like 32 years they've been giving this award out. Every single NBA MVP is either in the Hall of Fame or will be in the Hall of Fame except Derrick Rose. And the only reason is because he got hurt. Well, I, I, I can't say that. Maybe he wouldn't have been. I don't know. But I like to think that if Derrick Rose was relatively healthy for his entire career, he'd probably be a Hall of Famer. He'd be okay. Isn't that amazing that there wasn't just like a scud somewhere in the NBA, like a scud MVP winner is like, uh, you know, Phil Connors won MVP in 1962 for the Rochester Seagrams. No, every single one. So when people talk about uh, parody in sports, there's no parody in the NBA, like no. ever. There's no parody. There's no team. There is there is a zero percent chance of a team winning the NBA Finals this year that didn't make the playoffs last year, which we just saw last year in the NFL with the Super Bowl, and we see that more often than you think. There's no team like the the equivalent of the Brewers. In the NBA, not that the Brewers went into this year sucking, but how many people had the Brewers in the NLCS? One, and it was his name is Dom Brewer. Yeah, uh-huh. of the Brewer family. Uh huh. You're not going to see that in the NBA. I can tell you right now. What did we say this time last year, Kyle? Who's going to be in the NBA uh, NBA Finals? It's going to be the Cavs and the Warriors. Right. Oh, look at that. Who's going to be in the NBA Finals this year? I can tell you right now, I can narrow it down. I'm not as confident as last year. I can narrow it down to a couple teams. In the West, the Warriors, pretty confident they'll be in there. Against the either the Celtics or the Sixers. It's going to be the Celtics. That's it. And you're right. I'm 98% sure it's going to be the Warriors and the Celtics in the Finals this year. I know it's not quite an MVP, but the Sporting News NFL Player of the Year Award yes. in 1982. Uh-huh. Went to Washington kicker Mark Mosley. <laughs> Did it really? Yeah, it was a strike <laughs> sorting season. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They played the first two weeks and then came back in week eleven, and he hit like ninety five percent of his field goals. Um, yeah, ninety five point two percent of his field goals. Uh, he made sixteen of nineteen extra points and hit like a few game winning kicks. So they gave him the that's so player of the year crazy. Win. Yeah, I went to go look to see if that was unique to basketball because basically every basketball MVP ever, with the exception of Derrick Rose, is going in the Hall of Fame. So I was seeing if that was the case for football too. You know, when you look at baseball, it's a whole different story. Baseball is the best. Mo Vaughn, Juan Gonzalez, yeah, Ken Caminiti. Yeah, a lot of like just one-off steroid users. They're not all one-off steroid users. But well, like in the NFL, you've got Tom Brady – Matt Ryan. Is Cam Newton or Matt Ryan getting in? Too early. That'll be fascinating. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Uh, Aaron Rodgers will get in. Adrian Peterson will get in. LaDainian Tomlinson. But, like, Sean Alexander? No. Like, Sean Alexander had one really great year. Yeah, yep. Uh, Rich Gannon, Jamal Lewis. Uh, Is Thurman Thomas in? I don't think he is. Randall Cunningham. Boomer Esiason won an MVP. I think that's a unique to basketball thing. I think it is, too. You know, should have gotten in baseball and didn't Spud Chandler. Yeah, I couldn't agree. Won it in 43. Uh, yeah, yeah. When Ted Williams hit 406 and won the Triple Crown, he did not win the MVP. How great is that? That was, uh, wasn't that Yaz's year? No. Who was that it? That was uh, ya- Yaz. Call your Stremski. Did not play with Ted Williams. No, no, no. Didn't Yaz not win it as well when he, I'm sorry. Didn't Yaz not win it as well when he, when he hit for the uh, Triple Crown? Uh, that might be the case. I misspoke. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm looking right now for Yaz. Let's go. Well, now you got me on this thing. That's fine. You can get the thing at the break. Uh, uh hey, you know what else we're going to get at the break? Uh, we're going to give away some football tickets. Uh, UC Davis, the Aggies take on, uh, take the field at Aggie Stadium hosting Idaho State on October 13th. Make sure to get your tickets for the season at UCDavisAggies.com. All KHCK giveaways powered by RoosevaltAutomall.com. We're going to make this easy today. Uh, I'm going to do them both at once. Callers number four and five. Callers number four and five? Yeah, get yourself some UC Davis football tickets.
Dial the phone real fast. Good three, luck. 339-1140, three, three, 1-800-9-2-1140. Nine, 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 Give a shout out to Diesel and Cameron Park, would you? So I know my text got through. Keep doing what you guys do. I enjoy listening every day and I'm encouraged to have a great day, guys. Not going to do it. We don't do shout outs. Yeah. Good job, Kyle. We'll take a break. When we come back, what's on tap? Right here at Sports 1140 KSDK. That was dominant. Wrong. Dominant radio. He's nailed it. Yeah, I got him. I wonder how roasted that guy feels. Very. Let's take that diesel. KHTK. We do sports. Push the tempo. Gives it inside. Don't look out. Oh, God. Marvin Bagley. Welcome to Sacramento with a nasty left-hand rip. The future is now. Grab by Bagley. Put back. Marvin Bagley the third. Look at the snarl on his face. And look at the reaction of King's fans. Sports 1140 KHTK. Your home of the Kings. <laughs> I had my mic off and I was yelling. Carmichael Dave here for my good buddy, Dr. Jack Friedlander, and everybody over at NorCal Life. I had somebody tweet me yesterday. They said, hey, this is a random tweet. I, I didn't expect anybody to say that. They said, you know, you usually have a lot of fun with your with your NorCal Lipo spots. I've noticed they've been very serious lately. I didn't tell about serious. Well, you just, you know, you're talking about what they do and giving out the phone. I know you have to do all that, but usually you have a lot of fun. Well, I don't, you know what? You know what I have fun doing? I have fun being a tiny little part of changing people's lives. That's that's it. Because that's what we do here on The Drive. On a day-to-day basis, we change lives. One life at a time. And Dr. Jack Friedlander, he's that life changer for you at NorCal Lipo. He and Tara and the entire crew, they will welcome you in with open arms. You'll sit down in your free, no-obligation consultation. Notice how I stop saying private. It's a private consultation, don't get me wrong, but I feel like that's repetitive as opposed to come in for your free and public consultation. Like He's just going to examine you on Roseville Road. Yeah, it's a private consultation, of course it is, but it's free and there's no obligation. It's not like you're going to go in there and be like, hey, can you get rid of this? I got a big old belly. And he's going to say, yeah, here's a bunch of papers. And then the closers are going to come in and be like, you got to do this, man. I mean, you're, you're saving money. No, you go in and get the consult. He's not a salesperson. And he's packed. He's a very popular lipo guy. All right? Like, seriously, call him and say, hey, when can I get an appointment? You look at it quite a few weeks, but that's because he does a great job. And it's my job to share that with you. Get that free, no obligation, very private consultation today. At 916-347-7755. That's 347-7755. Experience the effects of NorCal Laser Lipo and their Vaser and Vaser High Def technology at NorCalLipo.com. That is NorCalLipo.com. Get in there today and you tell them your good buddy. I'm Michael Dave. Sencha. Would you like to see actual magic? All you have to do is call 1-800-GOT-JUNK and prepare to be amazed. We make junk disappear right before your eyes. All you have to do is point. Send us a signal and we'll be there in clean, shiny trucks and snappy, happy uniforms. Point at anything you wish was gone. Gone. We work until midnight, seven days a week. All you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.com. Hey, it's Mike. My team just pulled off the biggest upset in the history of forever. Nice, Mike. Yeah, and some fans are getting crazy. They even flipped over a car. Whoa. Turns out it's my car, though. Oh. But I don't want to be upset right now. I want to know State Farm's going to take care of this, right? We got you covered, Mike. Enjoy yourself. Yes! Woo! Thank you! Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Talk to an agent today. I'm Craig Ashton of the Personal Injury Law Firm of Ashton & Price. For the last 23 years, Ashton & Price has been focused on helping injury victims get through the maze of the legal issues presented when they are injured at the hands of another. When you call Ashton & Price, you'll always speak with an experienced lawyer. We deal with the insurance companies, and your only focus is getting back your health. There's never a fee until you win, so if you've been injured, call Ashton & Price for a free consultation. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton & Price. Hello? Hey, Dad, the AC guy says I need a new system, but my unit's uh, only eight. What'd he say the problem is? Um, he sort of just said it costs more to repair. Did you call Bonnie? Uh... (sighs) 
Okay, okay, call Bonnie. It's always best to call the professionals you trust. AC repair, call Bonnie. Electrical, definitely Bonnie. Space alien in your drains? Better call Bonnie. B-O-N-N-E-Y, Bonnie.com. It's the free, free, free event at Mattress Firm. This Friday through Monday, you can enjoy two free memory foam pillows, a free mattress protector, and a free adjustable base. That's a total value of over $600 free when you take home a queen mattress for just $749. Plus, every brand in the store is on sale. Only the nation's largest specialty mattress retailer can offer deals this good. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. Restrictions apply valid at participating locations only. For offer details, visit mattressfirm.com slash sale. Indeed knows it's hard to find qualified candidates when you're hiring. It's like finding a unicorn. But when you post your job on Indeed, it's easy to find people with the skills you need. Nurse practitioner, four plus years experience, acute care certification. Indeed has a huge pool of amazing candidates and screener tools that help you find your most qualified applicants. Whoa, an entire short list of unicorns. Now, get a $50 credit to give your first job posting premium placement at indeed.com slash credit terms conditions quality standards and usage limits apply additional terms online Medicars.com has big savings on over 2,000 vehicles. Easy financing for everyone. Over 7,500 four-star reviews, all in one place. Medicars.com. See why everyone is saying. Made a great deal in <laughs> it's the end of this show, but it's the start of your workday. <laughs> for a cold one, it's what's on tap. Here's what's on tap. What's on tap time. What's on tap brought to you by. I haven't done this in a while. Poor Kyle was busy doing something. I totally sprung this on him. Soccer scarves. Brought to you by soccer scarves. Not only are soccer scarves a great way to show your allegiance to your team, your club, much like we do here in the Sac Republic studios with not one, but two. Sac Republic scarves up. We've got the Sac Republic soccer ball. I'm touching right in front of me. You can see that if you were on the video cast. But they can also keep you warm. They can keep you warm. If you're on a boat and somebody falls over and you don't have a life preserver and you need to get them out of the water, boom, soccer scarf. Maybe you're on the uh, the second level of your house. And, oh, I fell off. I'm holding on by a thread. Grab my soccer scarf. Thank you, Kyle. What's on tap tonight? Eagles versus Giants. Thursday night football. I just wanted to interject real quick. You forgot an important use of a soccer scarf. What's that? If you are a very, very skinny person, you can use it as a blanket. Hey. Or a very, very short person. I'm talking very small. Really short. Boom. Just wrap yourself up in it. You could you could turn it into like one of those mummy masks by uh-huh. wrapping it around your yeah. face. Yeah. I'm sorry. Keep That's going. okay. What's on top? Eagles and Giants tonight. Thursday night football, not Monday night football. Nope, Thursday night football, not Sunday football on Fox. We talked earlier about the Eagles and Giants, and if the Eagles lose tonight, could they be in trouble? They could. Also tonight, seven o'clock. Your Sacramento Kings take on the Utah Jazz, a little preseason basketball. I'm taking the family out there. We're going to have a great time at Golden One Center, and that game will be right here with the sweet sounds of Gary Gerald, Jason Ross on the call, right here on the Sporty 1140. Real quick before we go, Jimmy Butler's quote about Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins moved me a little bit this morning. Am I being tough on him? Yeah. That's who I am. I'm not the most talented player. Who's the most talented player on our team? Cat. Who's the most God-gifted player on our teams? Wiggs. Wiggs got the longest arms, biggest hands, can jump the highest, can run the fastest. But like, who plays the hardest? Me. I play hard. I play really hard. I put my body on the line every day in practice, every day in the games. Like, that's my passion. That's how I give to the game. That's how I give to you guys. And, And everybody wants to talk about some leadership. Everybody leads in different ways. That's how I show I'm here for you. I want you to be great. How do you feel about what he just said, Kyle? When he says something like that, do you respect him? Do you respect his effort? Do you respect his grit? Do you respect his games, gamersmanship? Because I, I find it funny that a lot of people respect what Jimmy Butler's saying. Uh, he works hard. He plays hard. And I do, too. I, I'm on that side. I believe it. 
But I feel like there are a lot of people, and just ask yourself this question, texters, earlier, who had the terrible take and texted me in saying, yeah, I'm, I'm with Kyle. I don't like J.J. Watt either. I don't like J.J. Watt because it's always about look at me, look at how hard I work, look at how hard I, look at how strong I, I'm trying to get. Look, look at, here's a camera on me uh, while I work out. Yeah, okay, Jimmy Butler's on national television talking about how hard he works and how much harder he works than anyone else. Why isn't Jimmy Butler getting that same take? Why isn't Jimmy Butler getting the J.J. Watt treatment from millennials like Kyle? Uh, because of the way he went about it. And that's, so that's, no, so that's that's the whole thing. And that's, uh, you, Me. you people. You people, uh, oh. You, and frankly, I'm offended by this. Uh, frankly offended. Um, in fact, you know what? I got to change my stance here. Uh, this is your offended stance? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm offended, and I find what your, I find that your straw mans mm, are problematic. Straw man. Because... Uh, no, um, <laughs> I was just trying to throw in as many uh, online argument things as I could. Oh, is this uh, a false? No. Oh, is this a false equivalency? Oh, a false equivalency yeah. and your red herrings. Uh, no, it's just it's not it's not what he's doing. Like, yeah, dude, work hard, aim to be the best at your craft ever. That is awesome. Do that. Help out in the community the way you do it. It's just like <laughs> he's just. You can't put your finger the way, on the it. The way he presents it is such a... And it's not a bad thing. Everybody has that friend who's a lame ass. Look at me, dude. I am the lame guy in all of my friends. I am roll up to a thing in socks and sandals guy. And that's just how J.J. Watt strikes me. I think J.J. Watt is is disliked by some people. Like he's, It's just like... Because I like, think it's become cool to dislike J.J. Watt. Um, but there's not real reasons. Every right, time I talk to but somebody, that's just, but that's it. Okay, right. and I think that's it. You you think I have actual disdain? Right. Where I'm like, God, I hate. No, J. J. no, J. That, yeah. No, it's just like, hey, hey, he does a bunch of stuff that's easy to poke fun at, and that's frankly what I'm doing with Jimmy Butler. Like, this is funny what Jimmy Butler is doing because it's like, all right, guy, like if that that's your mo, then fine. But shouldn't we want every athlete? to strive to be more like J.J. Watt? Uh, in some cases, for sure. Not not all of them, though, because it's just his personality. Like, he's the guy that's like, oh, Hard Knocks is here. Let me make sure that I'm over here on this side field showing how much extra work Do I'm putting in. Do you know that? Or did Hard Knocks just film him doing what he does all the time? Or is that a narrative that somebody memed out and got picked up by the community? Oh, no, I'm definitely making this up. But have you <laughs> yeah. not seen that guy? <laughs> yes. But like, is it impossible that's how he is? Sure. And that's just, then that's a funny thing to poke fun at. We should all want athletes. Hey, be no, charitable. No, no, be a not great example. Yeah, sure, sure. But uh, there are plenty of athletes who put in that side work that aren't as, like, just lame assy about it. There might be athletes that do that that are lame assy. I just fail to see. I am in the JJ Watt hive. I'm like, no, I can tell. In the, and I, I don't can even tell. care about JJ Watt. Right, because he does it the right way. He does it the man. right way. He likes the troops. It and is man. the typical That's kid, it. youngster position uh, of we don't like authority. We don't like tradition. We don't like guys that do it the right way. I want the guy that does it flashy yeah. and has fun. But, oh, my God, here's substance Orama over here with J.J. Watt. Hey, he's easy to poke fun at. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Why is that I bad? Give, I give you credit for, I, hey, you know what? True story. I give you credit for owning it. I do give you credit for owning yeah, it. Yeah, you just see a guy it's just like, bad. God, I like that guy. I want my kids to be hey, like J.J. Watt. do you remember when, when Zach Mettenberger took a selfie and then J.J. Watt sacked him and did the fake selfie? Yeah. How is that not? Why aren't we saying, oh, look at J.J. Watt, his personality, he's celebrating. That's fun. Have more fun, J.J. Watt. You're JJ living Watt, your best because life. Because J.J. Watt came out first. If he had just done that, it would have been like, oh, nice. But he came out first and was like, oh, we don't take selfies around here. Look at our Letterman jackets. I'm cool. <laughs> he is cool. He's J.J. No, he's lame Watt. as hell. Eunice does a great job. She's not Probably lame doesn't as hell. season his chicken. Kyle Madsen has takes. Whether or not they suck or not is up to you. 
Appreciate Ben Gumpert, Mike Salk, Brock Heward for the simulcast earlier and everybody uh, listening to the program. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Jim Rome is next right here on Sports 1140 KHDK. Bye. Bye. Now. Hey now.